Hello everyone. So this is my second video posting for my reboot group that will be starting January 5th, 2019. I wanted to go over how to drink juices throughout your day. Uh, so I'm gonna be making once again some uh, mono orange juice and I wanna talk about why we drink nice smooth fruit juices essentially alone is the best so i primarily start my day off in the morning with a nice citrus juice will be my breakfast after my celery juice so i'm going to recommend i'm going to make another video on just the just celery juice in general but i want to make sure that people understand that if you want to make fruit juices that that's fine but you want to get them in you in the morning and you want to make them mono which means you're not going to go mixing out a bunch of stuff now you can mix apple and pear um grape and apple is pretty good too but you want to keep it very simple especially with fruit uh so when i make my citrus juices in the morning i might throw a lemon in with my oranges or grapefruits but i like to drink just straight grapefruit juice and straight orange juice and if at all it you know it doesn't serve you it makes you guys um, nauseous or anything like that you guys are gonna have to learn your body in your own way and then what's good for me isn't good for you but I'm just kind of trying to guide you guys with a baseline uh, so you don't really be going you when you make your juices also with the recipes that I'm gonna give you try to stick to them the best that you can Okay, so when I give you recipes for your green juices, don't go throwing in a bunch of fruit to make it all sweet because there's a reason that we stick with just drinking the green juices as much as we can. And it's mainly because of the, the detoxifying nature of the green juices and how they work within your organs and all that. And you kind of want to make them lower on the, on the uh, sugar glycemic index. So you don't want to go throwing in a bunch of sugar on your green juices. Otherwise, the green juice doesn't do what it's supposed to do in your body. Okay? So you want to stick with mono juices in the morning. Like tomorrow, I'm going to order a bunch of grapes. So I'm going to have a grape juice in the morning. And then that's after my celery juice, of course. My celery juice is right when I wake up in the morning. Okay? And then I move on to a fruit juice. And then I'll stick with my green juices and I, I've been adding in a lot of coconut water and into my, um, into my juices as well. So once again, I'm going to give you guys the recipes for your green juices, okay? And I really want you guys to focus on staying with the recipes and I'll tell you what you can add in and what you can't. Pretty much what you guys are going to have to buy pretty much by the case or if you're just going to clear the shelves out of the grocery store for a few days is celery, cucumber, and carrots. They're going to be a lot of your um, base, mainly cucumbers and celery. You're going to want a ton of greens, a ton of cilantro, a ton of parsley, um, Swiss chard, all that. I just went to Wegmans today. Uh, it, it exceeded my expectations of kind of what they would have had and it seemed that they're the best priced place that I've found so far. Trader Joe's is where I get my celery. They are two dollars a piece for a whole thing of hearts of celery and it's the best that I found for organic celery thus far. And I have done a comparison between the celery that I get from other stores and the celery that I get from Trader Joe's and Trader Joe's has the best yield which means it makes, the, it makes the most juice for what you get. So Trader Joe's is <clears throat> the best place for celery. Uh, their beets do not come with the greens. So when you guys get your beets from Trader Joe's, it's just the bottom part of the beets. But these greens are so good for you. You need to make sure that when you buy your beets, that you get them with the greens and the stems because you're going to juice them. Uh, the beet, the beet itself is real sweet. So you can make like a, a beet, apple and carrot 
as uh, kind of give you a lot of energy with that sugar throughout the day. But when you when you start winding down into your late afternoon and you want to make a nice green juice, you can throw those beet greens in there with it and uh, really, really good for your liver. Okay, so I'm going to get more into that. I just wanted to uh, post another video so you guys can kind of hang out with me while I'm juicing. And you're going to hear me talk and repeat myself, but I want you guys to stay active the best that you can because... When the time comes and you start this juicing, you are going to go through some stuff. So I, I want you guys to be prepared as possible. Um, what to get, how much to get. If you have a family, you may want to get a cooler. It's cold outside. You're going to have to manage your life because your fridge is going to be packed with produce. So you're going to have to kind of get ready for that. And when I mean packed, I mean my fridge is packed with just raw produce, nothing else. So if you have a family, if you have kids and you know, you're going to be cooking for them while you're doing this juice thing, you're going to have to manage your life in that way. So there's one other thing I wanted to talk about, and this is just more of what's going to happen during your fast, okay? When you guys are fasting or during this juice feast, you're gonna go through a lot of weird things happening with your body that you may have not experienced before. One of the things that I wanted to talk about so you guys aren't surprised when it happens is you're gonna get, possibly, depending on your body, you're gonna get your mouth expelling a lot of toxins during this feast or fast. Your body is gonna switch into an alkalizing state and your tongue could get coated with some weird pasty material when you wake up in the morning or throughout the day. Um, mine isn't, that's not happening to me anymore because once I did that 18 day water fast, I feel like it really, really synced me up. Um, so I'm actually, I'm on day like five of my, 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 my other reboot right now, um, Nikki's on day like eight and she's experiencing these symptoms. So I'm sure you guys will, but just know that it's, it's not gonna deter you at all. It's not gonna hurt you or anything. Cause it's, it's, it's a little weird when you wake up and your, and your tongue is just coated with white stuff or could be like a pasty color and you just, you wanna scrape it off. Your, your breath might be a little weird for a couple days, but you will push through that. And depending on how toxic you are, if you're a smoker, uh, your tongue could get pretty gross pretty quick, like on the first day, all right? And remember, guys, the detox symptoms, nausea, headaches, uh, dizziness, all this could play a factor in your life, and you just have to push through it. The things that are going to help you the most when these symptoms hit you is breath and, and light exercise. So if you're not exercising right now, when you go through this detox, you're, when you start detoxing, you're, you're going to need to make sure that you're doing 20 to 30 minutes of light yoga every day, or maybe a brisk walk, or just hit the treadmill. You need to get your lymphatic system moving, which is going to, when, when, when all these organs start to dump into your bloodstream, the stuff that's in them, because all these juices, that's what they do. They kick all the stuff out into your bloodstream, all right? So you're going to have to support your body in removing these things, all right? So I'm being very honest with you guys. I don't want to sugarcoat, you know, what's going to happen because I don't want you to be halfway through your fast and then you're like, I'm done because... This is the most important thing, and I need all of you to listen to me when it comes to this. Once you pass the day two or three mark, day four mark, you cannot jump right back into just pizza, chips, food. If you indulge in a craving, and you, you know, like if you eat the wrong food, and you're somewhat along down this, this fast, you can get very sick, okay? Your stomach can bind up on you. Um, your, your intestines can go through some serious pain 
because your body is becoming alkaline and it's starting to change and you're gonna just, it's like throwing a car in reverse doing 100 miles an hour. It's, it's not good for it, okay? So you need, to, you need to be very careful that when you cross that threshold around that time mark that it's, it's game time. There's no going back. And if you do decide that you're like, hey, this ain't for me, I'm done, it's day six, I can't go any farther, you know, hey, next time maybe you can make the 10 days or whatever, you need to private message me and I will go over with you how to integrate food back into your diet. Okay, so during the 10 day mark, it's very important you guys understand, on the 10th day, or let's say on the 11th day, we are not just jumping back to eating food. I'm going to have a whole protocol that we follow for three full days before we're eating food again, maybe even four. So this, this juicing protocol is actually going to be about 13 or 14 days, okay? We, we will incorporate food very slowly into your diet or solid food, but we're going to continue juicing the whole time as well. Um, so I wanted to make these things very clear to all of you before, you know, I start putting out recipes and all that. I want to make sure that we all understand what we're getting ourselves into. Okay. So once again, if you have family that you're going to be living with during this time, let them know, Hey, I'm in this, please support me through it. Uh, let them know that, you know, there's going to be some times that you're not going to really feel like uh, being the bubbliest person. Uh, you know, there's some days that you're going to have a headache. You're not going to really feel like socializing too much. So make it very clear that you may want to take those 10 or let's say 13 to 14 days and clear your schedule the best that you can. We as Americans, we are way too busy, all right? We have no time in our lives set aside to take care of ourselves and heal ourselves. So please give yourself these 10 days of not maybe tell the family, hey, or I mean, the, the, you know, the, the outside family, you know, I'm not going to really be leaving the house a whole lot other than work or, you know, the gym, um, just do what you got to do if you're trying to, if you're trying to, you know, really do this. I, I need you to under, trying to understand the point that I'm trying to get across to all you. Okay. So, you know, other than work and the gym and grocery shopping and taking care of your family, it's going to be a full-time gig during this time. You're, you, that's, that's enough. The, the extracurricular stuff, you you may need to put that on hold for a little bit until you're rebooted, you're feeling good, you're eating again, and you have a better understanding about yourself because um, you will go through ups and downs, which is good. We have to go through them. All right, I'm on my last orange, which means I'm going to start gabbing. Stop gabbing. I just wanted to touch base with everybody. Um, we start lunch again, January 5th. I have a bunch of new people that have been told me that they want to do it. If you know anyone that's interested, make sure, make sure that we all know also that we need a juicer. This may sound pretty self-explanatory, but I have been asked, well, can I do this with a blender? And no, you cannot. A blender does not, is not even in the same ballpark as juicing. All right. We are going to take live light. Light comes down from our creator. Light hits our, our, our Pachamama, our, our Mother Earth, photosynthesizes all the beautiful inorga inorganic materials out of the Earth, puts them into a bio, to bio fuel for our body, organic, natural, beautiful stuff, vitamins, nutrients, to take care of our body and support ourselves as we have this experience called, called life in this human body. Okay, so we need to realize what's happening also. So one thing that, that Nikki and I do when we make our juice in the morning is we get up extra early. We've been really trying to get up extra early. We make our juice 
And it's, it's, a, it's a nice time for ourselves. You, you need to realize what's happening. You're taking life that's been given to you by a creator, okay? I'll light some incense, light some sage, really calm myself down, and in, in thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy my juice. All right? So, this process, I'm trying to talk a lot about much more than just the juice fast and feast itself because this is a process that if you really indulge in, it can really transform your life. So, maybe on top of juicing, maybe cut the television out. Maybe just also when you drive to work and you drive around, turn the, turn the radio off. Start driving in silence. Maybe make it a point to really cut back on social media if you think it's a problem. Look inside your life and maybe pick some other things to, to fast from while you do this. You're going to need time by yourself to really let this happen. So those of you that have a family and have kids, you need to, it's not like you can just cut out from them. I don't want you to fast from your family and fast from your kids, but fast from the other external stimuli that plagues this planet. Step back from it all while you take care of yourself. Okay? Um, remember, I am open for flotation. I am open for body work. While you guys are going through this, um, some of you have been my customers. I can do lymphatic system drainage with, with, with the body work that I do. The flotation can be a very good reboot during this time. Don't forget about nature. Sitting outside, getting the fresh air while you're going through this is, is going to really help. Um, other than that, that's all for today. I hope we are ready for what's happening. I hope you guys are excited. We have about two weeks until we do this. So get all the tasty titillizations out of yourself now. Uh, you know, the cookies and all that kind of stuff. I hope you're not overdoing it on any of that anyway, but the more you take care of yourself now, the, the easier the fast is gonna be, by the way. So if you, can, if you can step through this holiday season without indulging in all the craziness, all the chemical cookies and cakes and food and everything that's out there, start drinking a ton of water right now, you're going to have a much more successful fast, easier on the body. All right? So I really look forward to starting this with all of you. I'm going to go make my orange juice now because I'm ready for it. So uh, don't forget to take care of yourself. Then we take care of the world. Because a better you is a better you for everyone. Be well.